Christina Applegate has put in a lot of on-screen work over the past 30 years. Unfortunately, it seems her days on TV are numbered due to a recent life-altering diagnosis. At what could have been her last award show as an actor, Christina Applegate was present at the 2023 SAG Awards on Monday. On the red carpet, the Dead to Me actress was seen holding hands with her 12-year-old daughter Sadie. She also walked with the help of a black cane embedded with the words F-U-M-S to show her displeasure with multiple sclerosis, which she was diagnosed with in 2021. Nonetheless, she looked stunning in a Christian Siriano tuxedo dress. Her daughter Sadie wore a coat, slacks, and a paperboy hat by the same designer maintaining her all-black look. The most important person in this world is my daughter. You are. Without a doubt, the pair stole the show on the highly emotional night. Earlier this month, Applegate said that the SAG Awards could be her last awards ceremony, thus her participation was especially significant. She spoke of her deteriorating multiple sclerosis symptoms and hinted at retiring from acting ever again. Oh, by the way, I have a disease. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> did you not notice? While playing Jen Harding on the Netflix series Dead to Me. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you the wine sheriff? Because I am the police and you Applegate has remained vocal about the challenges of acting while ill. In the category of female actress in a comedy series, she was nominated for a SAG award but ultimately lost to Jean Smart of Hacks. Actually, Lorna, I want to give you the Wood Estate as a parting gift. Early in February, Applegate told the Los Angeles Times, right now, I couldn't imagine getting up at 5 a.m. and spending 12 to 14 hours on the set. She further stated that she no longer had it in her, all thanks to the disease. Diseases of the immune system, such as multiple sclerosis, can cause damage to the myelin sheath that normally surrounds and protects nerve fibers. The condition, according to the Mayo Clinic, can lead to the deterioration or irreversible destruction of the nerves. This condition makes it difficult for a patient to move freely and this is why acting will be a big problem for Applegate going forward. Do you see that we're in the middle of something here? Does it look like my friend wants to dance? Read the room. Unfortunately, some insensitive fans don't seem to be sympathetic towards her condition. After the Critics' Choice Awards on January 15th in Los Angeles, where Applegate was in attendance, People Magazine published an article about the event and her MS. Unfortunately, some viewers took to the comments section of the article to say some pretty nasty things about her condition. One commenter even stated that multiple sclerosis wasn't the cause of her looks, claiming it was bad plastic surgery instead. Another one called her a con artist, and not a very good one for that matter. Upon seeing all the hate she was receiving in the comments, she responded by simply asking, what is wrong with people? After being diagnosed with MS, Applegate has revealed that she has put on 18 pounds of weight. And in August of 2022, the actress debuted her new cane at her Hollywood Walk of Fame ceremony, where she was accompanied by friends and family. In an interview with the New York Times, she asserted that she was glad the public could see her for how she really was. She also recalled the first time she was diagnosed with MS. She revealed that she initially assumed all it would take for her her to heal was the right medication. But as we all know, that was not the case. She also said she's had to grieve the loss of that part of her life, which is acting. And this further confirms that we may never see Christina Applegate on screen again, besides her old works, of course. I will have you know that I have more talent and more intelligence in my little finger than you do in your entire body. Interestingly, Applegate has not been lying around doing nothing, even with her condition. She's been doing lots of interviews and speaking about her illness on a regular basis. One of such interview appearances was on Kelly Clarkson's show. There, she blatantly told the TV host that being diagnosed with multiple sclerosis balls. She also revealed that she received her diagnosis while filming Dead to Me. According to her, she has made multiple trips to the set of the show on a wheelchair. She also revealed that production of the show was halted for about five months when she was mandated to begin her therapy. While still on the show, the Dead to Me actress said she started feeling the symptoms of multiple sclerosis about four years ago. And then I started thinking about the last four years and I had very small symptoms. She said they were mild at the time, but kept getting worse as the years rolled by. Applegate also reflected on the time she spent filming the final season of Dead to Me while having her legs held up by crew members due to the severity of her multiple sclerosis. Now her condition has gotten so bad that quitting television seems to be the only choice she has. That would be a great loss as she was truly a talented actress who has put in decades of hard work. She first came to prominence as a child actress for her role as Kelly Bundy on the Fox sitcom Married with Children from 1987 to 1997. Do you think that for one second I'm going to stay here and study when I'm just a paternity suit away from Jamaica? 
In her adult life, Applegate forged a thriving career in cinema and television, garnering a Primetime Emmy Award from a total of seven nominations, in addition to four Golden Globe Award nods and a Tony Award nod. Applegate's performance as the titular character in the NBC sitcom Jesse from 1998 to 2000 was also nominated for a Golden Globe. John gets back in 28 hours and Food is something that we can have in front of him. But that's not all. She was nominated for a primetime Emmy and won for her appearance on the Friends episode in 2003. You know, talk about your future. Oh, I can't, honey. I'm gonna go get my eyebrows shaped. I am not happy. To add to that, she received a nomination for a Tony Award as Best Actress in a Musical for her performance in the 2005 Broadway revival of Sweet Charity. All I can say is, wow, we look at where I am. Tonight I landed, pow! She then went on to star in the sitcom Samantha Who on ABC from 2007 to 2009. Look, I know he's a big basketball star and everything, but you know, he should take the time to bop. Okay, why are you bopping me? And Up All Night on NBC from 2011 to 2012. Okay, you just said, babe, worry, I can't totally do this. No, I said we can. Both of these roles earned her nominations for two Primetime Emmy Awards and the Golden Globe Award. The Netflix dark tragic comedy series Dead to Me, for which she received three Primetime Emmy Award nominations and the Golden Globe Award nomination, is also among her accolades. Other notable works in her name include Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead in 1991, The Big Hit in 1998, The Sweetest Thing in 2002. What, what are you talking about? Yesterday you said you wanted to go, so I went... And, you know, Courtney. And Greg Theft Parsons in 2003. She also starred in Anchorman The Legend of Ron Burgundy in 2004. Sure. Mr. Harkin, this city needs its news. Oh. And you are going to deprive them of. Hall Pass in 2011, and Anchorman 2 in 2013. Vacation in 2015, Bad Moms in 2016, and Crash Pad in 2017 are just a few of the films in which Applegate has played significant roles. You know, Garrett, how much I love my sister, right? Of course. I mean, she means everything to me. Applegate has not revealed what she'll be doing after retiring as an actress, but considering her philanthropic nature, she might focus on doing some charity work for the time being. Applegate has donated money to the Entertainment Industry Foundation, Adopt a Classroom, the Motion Picture and Television Fund Foundation, World Animal Protection, and the Trevor Project. She has also helped raise millions of dollars for breast cancer education and research. And that is of cancer patient and survivor. It's, but thank you. She was also a spokesman for the Lee National Denim Day in 2003. Applegate decided to raise awareness and money for breast cancer research by participating in a television show called Stand Up to Cancer after being diagnosed with the disease herself. Our goal is to make everyone diagnosed with cancer a survivor like us. On September 5th, 2008, CBS, NBC, and ABC all aired one hour specials on the topic. Applegate also stated in 2009 that she'll be returning as the Lee National Denim Day ambassador. In the same year, she established Right Action for Women, a nonprofit organization that promotes breast cancer screening through methods like the MRI that ultimately saved her life. The St. Vintage Love Cures Award, presented at Variety's 2015 Unite for Humanity Gala in February, was given to her in recognition of her commitment and work with Right Action for Women. It'll be sad not seeing Christina Applegate in any new shows, but hey, anything can happen. So, we just might.